Hello everyone, this is Anthony Spiles, and in this video, I'm going to share with you guys five key lessons I wish I knew before I started tech sales. This year marks my sixth year anniversary of being in tech sales, and I've been doing it ever since I moved to San Francisco back in 2018. The first lesson is detaching from the outcome. A lot of salespeople attach their self-worth to just having to always close every deal and hitting quota. And when they don't, they feel miserable. One way to alleviate this is to realize that we can't control everything. We can't control every prospect's decision to choose us or a competitor. I found myself in this spiral more so a lot more in my early days when if I didn't get a deal, it would crush you know, my self-worth and all these things. So the sooner we realize that we can't control everybody's decision-making, the sooner we can move on and focus to other opportunities that we can close. The second lesson is pick your first or second sales job carefully. In my opinion, you should lay your foundation at a company and stay there for more than one year. Currently, at my current company, I've been here for four years and I'm not in the same role where I started in. I started as an SDR, later got promoted to commercial account executive, and now currently I'm a mid-market account executive. I say this because there is people who say, if you're not switching jobs after one year, that you're losing money on the table. I will highly disagree with this because if you're in tech sales and if you manage to stay at that company for two, three, four years, oftentimes you are developing if you do things right and you'll reap a lot of the rewards of commission if you're at the right company. And also you'll be learning by top-notch sales leaders as well. I vouch for my company where I work highly just because of the experience um, I've been able to have working with top-notch sales leaders. And if I would have stayed at the first company I was at, I think, in my opinion, I think I would have remained stagnant. So you might miss the mark. You might not land uh, your best opportunity right out of college, but do try to find somewhere where you can be more than a year at your second job in tech sales, if possible. Third lesson is having a neutral way of thinking. In sales, you're going to have your good moments. You're also going to have your bad moments. I've been in both situations. I know how it feels to hit quota. I also know how it feels to miss your quota. In my opinion, you obviously want to be having that feeling of, of feeling good because that also motivates you. But you also don't want to over-celebrate. Like if you're hitting quota, you're drinking way too much, or all these things, it can hinder what comes next, which is your next sales target. But also not dwelling when things are going badly. Sales is an emotional roller coaster. I've seen a lot of people uh, even say, oh, you know, I'm thinking of getting out of sales because of how bad they're doing. In my opinion, never stay too high when things are going well and never stay too low when things are going bad. If you remain neutral, you take the emotion out of choices and the decisions you make, and this will benefit you greatly. The fourth lesson is taking care of your body like if you're an athlete. I was once told this by a VP at my current company, and he said, Salespeople, salespeople are like the athletes of a company. That made a lot of sense to me because if you think about it, you know, we're putting not just our minds on the line when it comes to prospecting, negotiating, closing a deal, but it also takes a toll on our body. If we're, you know, just getting carried away, drinking way too much, taking bad habits, you know, drugs, not getting exercise, it's going to put a huge toll on your body. I think there's a stereotype that salespeople just like to party. And I can attest that's not, that's not true. I've met many high performers who don't drink. And personally, uh, when it comes to drinking, I'm very controlled. I can easily go a week without drinking or even one month. And throughout the years, I've been able to just get this discipline when it comes to abstaining from these things, because I know if I get carried away, it's gonna affect my sales performance greatly. And this is why keeping healthy habits outside of work in sales is super beneficial. Things like working out, going on walks, meditation, other healthy habits will greatly benefit you. The fifth lesson is developing a strong why and purpose. We all need something that drives us as salespeople besides money, because there's gonna be days that get redundant, repetitive, in sales, having strong goals and a purpose will help drive you every day. Something I typically do is have sticky notes to remind myself, you know, why am I doing this? Some things I've heard that salespeople 
make as part of their goals is maybe that lifestyle they want to have. Maybe they want to get engaged. Maybe they want to buy property. And maybe it's that vacation they've always wanted to have, right? So having goals like those or something that you want to accomplish will help fuel your motivation on the day-to-day -day when it comes to sales. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop a like. And subscribe if you did enjoy this content. Um, these were five key lessons that I wish I knew before entering tech sales. There's many other ones I could have talked about, but these five key ones are ones I really love and hope they resonate with anybody who is in sales or is thinking of entering the sales industry. And one, one last golden nugget I would like to leave for my audience is that don't base sales based off a bad experience you had the first time. You know, it could be your second opportunity or your third opportunity where things can blossom and get way better. For me, it took me until my second opportunity to find a good nest and develop from there. Thank you guys for watching. Have a tremendous day.